So guys, the 2023 NFL Draft is upon us in Arizona. And I thought before the draft, why not do ourselves some, a one-round mock draft, see who we get, think is going to get taken in the first round, if we're being honest. Because it would be interesting to see who I think is going to, what the order is going to be. And we're not aware of all teams selected. I'm going to do this as if there is zero trades right now. And we know what well, the recent trade thing of Aaron Rodgers going to the Jets. The trade will be somewhat different than how it was a few days ago. But one round will do medium simulation. I mean, if we go to sim results, should show the, yep, the Packers before the Jets. So updated. Panthers on the clock. You know, it's either between <laughs> CJ Stroud or Bryce Young. If I'm being honest for no one or two. But if I'm being honest, we're, let's go over to player pool. Bryce Young, they have a number one. But I think CJ Stroud's going to go number one here. To the Panthers, so Panthers fans, be happy with the quarterback you have. Number two has been up in the air because recently Will Lefts has come out on top as to be a potential number two pick over him, but I think right now Bryce Young's going to go number two. Then for Arizona, okay, if the let's actually do a trade real quick. So I'm just going to trade the first rounders only because this is what it's going to, what a trade's going to be, it looks like. I think this has been rumored, guys. So we got an Arizona trade here with the Tennessee Titans. Has been rumored for who knows how long. So let's select the picks. Of course, the first round is, and I'll throw in the fourth rounder right there. Pick 147 as well. I'll accept it just because it's a random pick. And then I'm going to trade up and honestly take either Will. I'm going to go with Will Levis here. And we got the Colts taking Anthony Richardson here. Of course, that's what I think is going to happen. Here for Seattle. I don't think they have much faith in, Ty in Will Anderson, so they're going to go with Tyree Wilson here, I think. So right now... Top five picks in the draft. We got four quarterbacks in the first five. Expected. We got CJ Stroud, Bryce Young, Will Levis, Anthony Richardson, Tyree Wilson. Now for the line. I think they with that they take Will Anderson to go with uh, Aiden Hutchinson, just because it's obvious. Now of course the Raiders. They're probably gonna take. Hmm. I'm trying to think what who do they have on defense? Honestly, I don't know. But I think they're going to take Christian Gonzalez here, which leaves Atlanta with uh, Devon Witherspoon here. Let's leave Chicago, take Peter Skronsky, because they need to build an offensive lineup to guard Justin Fields if, they're, if he's going to be their long-term deal. So update on the draft thing. Number six, we got Will Anderson, Gonzalez, Witherspoon, and Peter Skronsky. Now, number 10 for the Eagles. This is going to come, as a, I don't think, as a surprise to many people, but let's scroll down until we see his name. Bijan Robinson, number 10 overall, I think, is going to happen. Because it, that's what it seems like more and more now. Here's Arizona with their trade they got from the Titans. They go with Joey Porter here. Which leaves Houston to take Jalen Carter. I know it sounds like something they're not going to do, but that's what I think. So now we're at pick 12 with the Green Bay on the clock, which... That's better pool. With the trade to Rodgers, they got Jordan Loves their quarterback. I think they'll roll through with it for this year, however. And they don't really have many receivers because they have Christian Watson in that. So I think they're going to go down and take Jackson Smith and the Jaiba from Ohio State. I hope I didn't say that last name wrong, but that's how I'm going to say it for reasons. Now the Patriots. With Mac Jones as your quarterback. And then your defense. They Didn't they trade away Jack Jones or something like that? No, he's on the Chargers. They don't really have too much on defense going. And they, guys, and they're, and they couldn't get Stephon Gilmore back, of course, so... Here, I, I still think they need offensive linemen, though, so Paris Johnson. Or I'm going to go Paris Johnson here. That's for Rodgers. They got the receiving core. They got what they need, but they need offensive linemen. So we're going to go with Broderick Jones. Washington. They need playmakers. So I'm going to go with Jordan Addison here because I think they need a receiver. Now, Pittsburgh, they need an offensive linemen. So let's, but they also need defense because isn't um, what's-his-face retired Hayward? You know, whatever. They'll take Miles Murphy here. Then Detroit. This is an interesting team, honestly. Probably the most interesting in the draft. Even though I've said that for every team in the earlier. Because of who... Because of the recent news with Quintes, Quintes Cephas being released. Because of the betting thing. Williams being suspended for the first six games. This is going to lead them to taking a receiver, I think. And for that, Quentin Johnson, TCU. Plus, he had an amazing style on which I'm going to pull up real quick here. But and now, Tampa Bay. Here we're at pick... 19, they have Baker as their quarterback now. Receivers, Mike Evans is probably done for real soon, if I'm being honest. So we'll have to see what goes on with that, but 
if we're looking at something, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I don't know who Tampa's gonna take here or what route they're gonna go with. But if, we're, if I'm being honest, I, I think Luke Van Ness. If they use him more in the middle linebacker thing, they'll take him. Now Seattle, they got Kobe Bryant in last year's draft, so they're not gonna take a corner or maybe an edge rusher because they just brought back Bobby Wagner. So no linebacker. I think they go Darnell Wright because they need some linemen too. Chargers, same thing, but I don't really see any here. But I'm going to go with Nolan Smith. Who are the Ravens going to take at number 22? And again, with our recent signing of Tyler Huntley, we're not going to take a quarterback, obviously. Plus, it's too early in the draft for a quarterback for us if we were to take one. Our receivers, we just brought in freaking... Nelson Aguilar and OBJ, so no receiver. Defense, I believe Marlon Humphrey is going to be a free agent or after this year, but I think we're going to need to build up our defense. So I'm going to go with Deontay Banks from Maryland here because I do think we are going to need a corner here. Soda, I'm going to go defense here and go with Brian Branch, I think, because he'll be the first safety off the board because they have... No, Harrison Smith, I forget who they have, honestly, because I don't pay attention to a lot of these teams, but... I do know like a general knowledge of like what their team is looks like and how bad they perform. Now Jacksonville, they have made a good push for the playoffs this past season with the team they had and all the signings. But once again, defense is a big factor in today's game, so they're probably gonna go with. I'm gonna, I think they take Cam Smith here because he's the highest corner available, and that's I don't know who they would really take. But pick twenty five, we got the Giants once again made a push for the playoffs, couldn't get there good enough, and with this freaking thing of Daniel Jones signing a big contract and Saquon not showing up. We don't know what they're really going to do. I'm being honest. I don't know what they're going to do. I feel like they need more weapons now that they don't have Kadarius Tony anymore. And obviously they couldn't get OBJ. So they're going to go with a receiver. I think they take Jalen Hyatt. Or Hot. I don't know how you say his name. Dallas. Tony Pollard's just running running back. No more Zeke. Dak Prescott loves to throw interceptions. Loves to get sacked. And I believe he had the most interceptions last season in the regular season. So they're going to go Osiris Torrance. Only because I think he's going to be there by the time he comes to their pick. Now Buffalo. You got Gabe Davis. You got Stephon Diggs. You have a Super Bowl caliber team, but you just can't get it done because people are always getting to Josh Allen. I think they need a center, though. That's going to be interesting. Center, I'm going to go with John Michael Schmitz. Now the Bengals. Same thing as the Bills. Had that Super Bowl caliber team. They made it there two years ago when they drafted Jamar Chase. But offensive line struggled. They just brought Orlando Brown in, but they need another offensive tackle. I'm going to go with Anton Harrison. <sighs> now the Saints, like I said, brought in all these guys. Brought in Tyron Matthew. He's going to be so It's going to be real interesting now with like all these signings they made. And no one knows what's going on with their offense with Michael Thomas and all that. That's why with me, what I'm thinking, they're going to go with Zay Flowers from Boston College. Which leaves Philadelphia on the clock for their second pick. Pick 31. No, pick 30. Sorry. There is no pick 32 in this year's draft because Miami screwed up. So, looking at this here, Eagles lost uh, CJ Garner Johnson to the Lions. Brought back Darius Slay. Offense, amazing. Like I said, they're going to draft Bijan. I feel like they need to build up their offensive line. But also their defense kind of struggled against the Chiefs in the second half of the Super Bowl. So for that, I'm going to take Adantomiwa Adabakwar. However you say his name. I don't know how you say it. But now the Chiefs. For their final pick of the draft, they lost Juju. They're not... I don't know exactly what they're aiming for. Because they have the Super Bowl team that they've proved in the last five years. But... Travis Kelsey... <laughs> Sorry, Travis Kelsey's getting up in age. Not quite sure who they would take, but defense, kind of lackluster, if we're being honest. But I feel like they need to go defense with this pick, like I said. So I'm going to take BJ Ojulari, and that's exactly what I'm going to do here. Full results. I guess with our draft being completed here, here's our full list here. Pick one, CJ Stroud. Bryce Young will left Anthony Richardson. I think that's going to first four is going to be quarterbacks. It's undetermined. I think that's what it's going to be. They're going to go Tyree Wilson, Will Anderson, Gonzalez Witherspoon, Skronsky Robinson, Porter Carter, Smith Najiba, Orna Jigba, however you say his name, Paris Johnson, Broderick Jones, Jordan Addison, Miles Murphy, 
Quentin Johnston, Luke Van Ness, Darnell Wright, Nolan Smith, Deontay Banks, Brian Branch, Cam Smith, Jalen Hyatt, Osiris Torrance, John, Mitch Kmint, John Michael Schmitz, Ann Harrison, Zay Flowers, Adato Michael, Adaba War, and BG Ojulari. I know I butchered some of those names, but I don't care. I'm not to invest in the draft because I don't really pay attention to it all that much. Well, except for my teams, really. But that's why with Baltimore, Deontay Banks, he's going to be a great playmaker for us on defense. With our defense being, I think it was like top 5, top 10 last year. We need to get improve on that for that. So I took them. But I think the real shocker here is who the lines take. Depending on if Arizona trades back with Tennessee or not. That's going to be the more interesting part of this draft, in my opinion. But yeah, guys, that's our full one-round mock draft. So if you enjoyed and you want to see me do another one of these like next year or like do different types of videos like this, let me know down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.